Understanding Lease Violations, a guide for English language learners. Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to explore the meaning and implications of lease violations. Understanding this term is crucial, especially if you're living in an English-speaking country and renting a property. So, let's dive in and demystify this important topic. First, let's understand what a lease is. A lease is a legal contract between two parties, typically the landlord and the tenant. This contract allows the tenant to use a property owned by the landlord for a specific period in exchange for rent. Leases include various terms and conditions that both parties must adhere to. Now, what does it mean to violate a lease? A lease violation occurs when either the landlord or tenant breaks the terms of the lease agreement. Common examples include late or non-payment of rent, causing damage to the property, keeping pets in a no-pet property, subletting without permission. Violating a lease can lead to serious consequences. For tenants, it could mean eviction, being legally forced to leave the property, legal action, facing lawsuits for any damages or unpaid rent, difficulty renting in future, a history of lease violations can make it hard to rent other properties. For landlords, violating the lease can result in legal action from the tenant or penalties from local housing authorities. Preventing lease violations is key. Tenants should read the lease carefully, understand all terms before signing, communicate with the landlord, discuss any issues that might lead to a violation, Respect the property. Treat the property as if it's your own. Landlords should be clear about rules. Ensure tenants understand the lease terms. Respond to tenant concerns. Addressing issues early can prevent violations. We hope this video has shed light on the concept of lease violations and how to avoid them. Whether you're a tenant or landlord, Respecting and understanding the lease terms is crucial. Thank you for watching, and here's to happy, violation-free renting.